so hello everyone welcome back on another video on MATLAB's moving so in this video we will learn why the zero order hold is important in a MATLAB's moving so to understand the importance of the zero order hold we will take an example so we will use a zero order hold a size of form and that is connected with the zero order hold and on a scope and we will make a connection like this and we will change the sine wave form to the Samsung time is 1 e minus 5 that is 10 microsecond and and here we are changing the sampling time also 1 microsecond so 10 microsecond and we will run it and we can analyze that that is both the waveforms are overlapping or each other so you can see there are two waveforms and or both are overlapped and so now what we will do we will make a change in the zero order hall the sampling time we will change and uh, we will see the waveforms so you can see here that It is changing the samples at uh, one milliseconds. So uh, the output of the zero order hold it holds those these samples at the one millisecond durations, and it will change its sample after the specific time period. That is, we have given the one milliseconds. So the zero order hold is required where you need a different sample like in your projects. So hope you understood the zero order hold why we need it. So if you want me to make a such kind of video getting started with a MATLAB moving, you can hit, you can comment in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you, thank you very much.